We finally set up on a nice little bay and were able to rent this wonderful palapa for about five bucks a night. And we launched the boats again without the help of a launching ramp. But I've got to stop us again and explain something. Almost got stuck in the mud. Came a little too close to that point. <laughs> Actually, we made two trips to Baja in successive years. We had different vehicles and different boats, but the same guys. And the whole memory runs together for me, for me now in, a, in an elegant blur of sailing and camping in the desert sea. Hey, you caught one! Look at him go! <laughs> so, yeah, good, okay, I got it still. Atta boy! <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> hey. 
Well, all great adventures must come to an end, but we weren't done yet. Do you remember that little houseboat where I lived in the 50s in Sausalito? Well, it just so happens that a few yards from that old place, my old buddy Joe now has himself a houseboat. This one has for its upper deck an honest-to-goodness railroad caboose. Inside it's quite comfortable, very livable really, but down in the master bedroom Joe can look out his window and see his Windrider 17 hanging from the back deck and it made us want to have another crack at the Golden Gate. So we launched his boat and motored down the Sausalito waterfront in a calm. The place has become very yachty in the last 50 years, but it's still very beautiful. Out in the bay, we still had no wind, but as we approached the gate, we began to feel the chop, and the next thing we knew, we were right out in it. Tack might be in the gate, though. Yeah. Beating out tack on tack against a rising wind. Yeah, I'm sure I got water on the lens. Um, it's not inside, and I don't know whether to lick it or what. Here, let me... <laughs> Is that any better? <laughs> yeah. Uh. yeah. Oh! <laughs> it's it's <laughs> So we beat out far enough to turn around and surf back in. Off we go! Trippy! <laughs> Of course, not everyone is going to want to ride the wind into these harebrained situations. And we haven't even begun to talk about what wind riders have meant to families with kids and old timers. Even paraplegics can sail these boats. Also, wind riders are popular in rental service where the operators can turn absolute beginners loose in them without instruction and their customers can get back by themselves. For me, sometimes I just like to sit back in my padded armchair and contemplate 50 years of messing about in multi-hulls. It makes the experience quite complete for me. And I'm here to recommend it to others. We've found that even if you're an experienced seaman, you don't have to have a big yacht in order to be plenty challenged by riding the wind. So, if you take the chance to try this experience for yourself, when you're out there, I hope you'll remember that I'm Jim Brown, wishing you fair winds.